We're now at Delhi airport, just trying to work out what to do. So after nearly a total of six weeks being in quarantine in India, we had confirmation through from the UK embassy that we had flights on the final Delhi uh, repatriation flight back to London Heathrow. We had it explained to us that there would be a bus There were multiple police checks along the road. The travel guy on the bus with us would get off and show all the forms and permissions to show that we were allowed to be traveling. After eight hours, we finally got into Delhi and we actually all stayed in a really beautiful hotel, which was organized specially by the UK embassy. Um, and the bus turned up to collect us from the hotel at 10.30 in the morning. We're now at Delhi airport, just trying to work out what to do. You don't really know what gate to queue at or anything like that. So we are nearing the front of the queue, which we have been stood in for two hours now, just to get into the airport. Uh, there's like security guards and this guy is asking you to sanitize your passport. We've made it in and it is absolutely dead. So we've been stood in this queue for an hour and now they've decided that we all need to social distance. So we made it to our gate at three o'clock in the afternoon and boarding was starting at about quarter past three. So we only had 15 minutes to spare. Masks were mandatory for the entire time that we were there. Every member of staff, every single person getting on a flight were always, always wearing a mask. alcohol-based hand sanitizer if you don't have access to soap and water. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth. So after our around nine hour flight we landed in Heathrow. They let us through in batches to immigration and passport check. The organisation there was amazing. It was also really refreshing to be told what's going on. We didn't really have much of that in India. We didn't see a single person wearing a mask, so it was mandatory in uh, India, but not a single person or member of staff in the UK actually wore one. So once we'd left the airport, we had to hunt down my parents, who um, I hadn't seen for four months. They had Rob's truck. They filled it with a load of our belongings because we had no way of uh, quarantining with my parents. We didn't want to put either of them at risk and we did the three to four hour drive to South Wales um, where my godmother lives and um, we're really lucky she has caravans so we are quarantining um, up here for two weeks and then we'll kind of be staying here for the foreseeable because this has obviously changed all of our plans. We were well, four months into two years worth of travel, which we had planned. Um, and now that's gonna be put on hold for uh, probably a very long time.